<clears throat> Woo! <clears throat> then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it. <clears throat> According to their various kinds, and it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and God saw that it was good. And that's Genesis 1, 11 and 12 for anybody who wants to read that. And it's also Genesis 1, 29. Then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food, and to all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds of the air, and all the creatures that move on the ground, everything that has a breath of life in it. I give every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw all that he had made, and it was good. And you notice on 29 here, he said, I give you every, every, every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth. It doesn't say every seed bearing plant but marijuana. In case you've been brainwashed by uh, DuPont and by um, Harry Anslinger, um, let me say uh, that uh, marijuana, in fact, is a seed bearing plant. It is not a manufactured drug. It's not a pharmaceutical, as, as some people want to claim in Revelations. Um, I believe you, that you, you want to come into Revelations 21.8 and Revelations 22.15 and, and say that marijuana is a pharmaceutical, i.e. Uh, um, the pharmacon definition in the Strong's Dictionary um, that's the Greek definition of it is a spell giving potion, a druggist, a poisoner, a magician, or a sorcerer. Okay, I don't know any marijuana smokers that practice sorcery or witchcraft. In fact, from that, you know, if you're going to go by that, I wouldn't suggest you drink soda pop because, in fact, three, if not more, of the top soda chains were, in fact, invented by a pharmacist. And if you check your history, we we could start with Dr. Pepper for one and you know towards that point you might as well not eat any Doritos you might as well not eat anything that has any kind of uh, any kind of chemicals or any kind of uh, herbs or additives added to it in fact that pretty much covers everything we eat in this country um, so I guess you know if I'm gonna go by that should I stop taking my dilatin from a grand mal, mal seizures and should uh People that have sicknesses not take their medications. In fact, I've been to churches where people take medications over the counter and yet turn around and persecute pot smokers when in fact it says right there God had given us all seed bearing plants. But, you know, if that's not enough, we can move on up to here to, to 1 Timothy 4, 1 through 15. It says they forbid people to marry and order them to abstain from certain foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and who know the truth for everything God created is good and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving because it is consecrated by the word of God and prayer now now um, I don't know I think you know I think that says uh um, that uh, anything that is received with thanksgiving anything God created is good and nothing 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 is to be rejected so you know James 4 11 through 12 says brothers do not slander one another anyone who speaks against his brother or judges him speaks against the law and judges it when you judge the law you're not keeping it but sitting in judgment on it there's only one lawgiver and judge the one who is able to save and destroy but you who are you to judge your neighbor now Jesus himself says in Mark 7 chapter 7 verse 14 and 15 Jesus says, listen to me all, everyone, and understand this. Nothing outside a man 
can make him unclean by going into him. Rather, it is what comes out of a man that makes him unclean. And you say, you know, what, what, what is it that he's talking about? Well, Mark 7, 20, if you go down to Mark 7, 20, verse 20 says, What comes out of a man is what makes him unclean. For from within, out of men's hearts, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance and folly all these evils come from inside and make a man unclean they come from inside of your heart what what you put inside you isn't isn't what's gonna make you a bad person it's what comes out of you that's making you a bad person are you showing love because the greatest commandment is love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind and body and the, the gr second is like that, which is love your neighbor as yourself. And all the law and all the prophets fall under this commandment. Another one is Matthew 13, 24 and 30. And uh, you can read that one yourself. Matter of fact, um, you can read that one yourself. It's the parable of the weeds. I just got to say it is better to nourish a hundred tares than that he destroy the assurance of one trembling grain of wheat who is weak in the faith. God will sort them out at the last day. In Jesus' name, amen.